excited because today I am coming at you with another garage sale haul. I know I said there wouldn't be any more, and this is the second one since I said that. I think next year I'm just not going to say that it's the end of the season. I'm just gonna keep on hoping that there are more sales. So I got some really awesome stuff over the past couple days and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Now if you look in our living room, uh, normally I have a black coffee table set up there. Um, one of Sean's cousins, I'm pretty sure it's his cousin, um, yeah, one of Sean's cousins actually gave us a coffee table and uh, two end tables. So this was actually completely free and so we want to say thank you so much to them for giving us um, the coffee table. And so right now we're going through a lot of change in our decor and our furniture in our living room. So we actually just got a new couch. This is our old couch and so in our ne in my next few videos, whenever I'm sitting out in the living room doing work, I'm going to show you guys um, the new furniture. So stay tuned for that. That should be coming up later today. Well, we'll be moving the stuff later today. Okay, so we went to probably three or four different sales yesterday. Um, I took some footage while we were garage sailing, so I'm going to insert that throughout the video. Um, but the first sale we went to was a shelter sale, and I wasn't quite sure what that meant. Um, and when we got down to the sale, we saw that it was a garage sale put on by the local SPCA. So it was really exciting that we were able to help them, um, you know, pay for some of the things that the animals need. And um, it was nice to just meet the volunteers and talk to them about what they do and see their passion for the animals. So let me show you the first thing that I got. All right. So lately I've been in this kick of like buying things that I remember having in my childhood, um, but buying like household things that I remember in my childhood. And I remember that my aunts had um, chafing dishes for like functions and parties. And so I saw this and I thought this was a really cool idea. It's these these um, holders for like, like casseroles, like those aluminum casserole pans that you get at like the dollar store. And then below in the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a little space that you put the sternos in. And I was like, that is so cool because my aunts had like real chafing dishes, like the hard, like big ones, and, she, and they still have them and they work just fine. But this is more like portable and like, I really like it. So it's ha one small one and they actually included the sterno in it. And I don't know if it's because they wanted to show like what kind of sterno goes in it, but they're all empty. Like they're not... There's nothing left in them. So there's one small one and then a little container for it. And I'll just show you guys real quick. Like it would go in there. This one's kind of all bent up, but it would sit right in there. And then the sterner would sit on the bottom. And then there are three big ones. And I really liked it. So I'm excited for like Christmas and Thanksgiving and all the different holidays and um, using that for this. So this was $3. After we went to the first sale for the shelter, we went to another sale and it was like in like a building, like in like an old restaurant and Sean and I were like, eh, don't know if this is going to be a good sale or not. Um, so let me insert a couple clips of that trip here. We haven't gone garage sailing over here yet, so you're going to go to the left. It says buy Domino's. Well, Domino's is up here. Domino's is right here. It says there's a sale right there. What is it? Is it a garage sale? It's in here. What is it? That looks really creepy. We going in? You want to go in? I think we should go in. Okay. Going in. Going in. So we just went to that sale and it was a bust. Right well, there. no. I mean, we just didn't have the stuff we were looking for. Yeah. Well, it's... not that we're looking for anything specific, but it didn't have anything we wanted. Yeah, everything was really expensive and just wasn't really the stuff kind of stuff that we are looking for. And so now we're going to another sale that's hopefully more like a garage sale. That was more like a like a restaurant closing or something like, like office that. Office supply stuff. Yeah. All right. So uh, as you can see in the video, we didn't really find anything. It was more like the company was going out of business or something like that. So everything was really expensive and it was like seats for like buffets and seats for like a restaurant and like booths and stuff like that. So there wasn't really anything that we wanted there. After that sale, we headed to another sale um, that just I could tell from the, the road that it was going to be promising. So let me show you what I got there. As you know, I love getting flannel backed um, tablecloths for a craft that I have not done yet. It's like in my brain and I'm trying to like figure out when I will have time to do it. So um, let me show you. I got some more flannel backed, 
flannel back tablecloth. This one, it's like this deep red, and I like it. It's more like a cranberry color or a cinnamon color. Um, that's what they call They call this color cinnamon on QVC, and I watch QVC because I want all the things. The next uh, flannel back tablecloth that I got is like a bright red, and that could be used for Valentine's Day or Christmas. I like how they smell. They smell old, and I like... I have a thing with smells. The last tip, uh, flannel back tablecloth that I got is a definite Christmas one, but I love it because it's like a vintage Christmas theme. I think it's really sweet, like the poinsettias and the berries and other berries and the leaves and stuff. I think it's really fun and I think it's really festive. So today, this afternoon, I'm going to a birthday party for my grandma and my grandmother loves Snoopy. I went to a garage sale and I found this really sweet Snoopy puzzle and I think she would definitely enjoy doing a Snoopy puzzle because it's like a 60 piece so it's not a small puzzle. Um, and so I found this and I thought that she would really like that and so I'm going to be giving this to her. Um, and then I also went to Big Lots and I got two wall decals. Let me grab those so I can show you guys. So I got these Halloween Snoopy, they're called Stick Ease 3D Clings. I thought that they were going to be like those ones that you pull and they're like static and they're like, they're sticky kind of, but you can just peel them off your window. But I don't think they are. I think that they have like stickers on the back, which kind of makes me upset because I would like her to be able to use it more than just one year. But um, we'll see. That's the first one and then this is the second one. So I think it's really cute. So they're the two for Halloween. And then here, there's a puzzle for her too. So she's gonna really like it. I'm excited for her birthday party. So at the same sale that I got the Snoopy puzzle at, I also found two new friends for my mom. So um, my mom loves sheep. And I found these little friends at a garage sale and I had to pick them up for her. So don't tell my mom that I got them yet. Look at how cute. It's a big sheep. I mean, like, look at how big he is compared to me. Like, he's like a nice, or she, he or she. They're like, it's like a big size sheep. So I got this one, and then I got a friend. So it's funny, my mom has wiener dogs, and these are about as big as the dogs. So I have a feeling that they're going to be kind of afraid of, um, of the sheep when they go home to the house. Maybe she'll hate me for getting her these, but they were like 50 cents a piece, so, and she really loves sheep, so we'll find out. <laughs> I'll post on Instagram if she likes them or not. The last thing I got at the sale that I got the Snoopy puzzle and the two sheep and the flannel back tablecloths, I got this really beautiful frame, and so I wanna show you guys. Look at how gorgeous this frame is. I really, it was $2 and that's normally more than I would pay, but I think it's totally worth it. I think that this like gold plated frame is just stunning and I love it. You can tell it's old because it has the, the velvet on the back and it's got this like cord to hang up, this like little rope, oh, bugs all over everything. Um, I'm really excited for it because I cannot wait to paint it. I cannot wait to paint this gold and make it like a really bright accent color. I'm really excited because this is really fun and I think it's gonna be gorgeous hanging somewhere. And I think either vertical or horizontal, I think it's gonna look really nice. Maybe we'll have like a picture of like our wedding party in it or maybe it'll just be like a solo shot of Sean and I. A solo shot of Sean and I, they say that three times fast. Um, I think it's really gorgeous and so I was really excited to find it and for $2, you can't go wrong. This next item I actually got a couple weeks ago, and I'm excited to show you guys it now. It's this shoe organizer, and this is actually only one of two. And I really like it because, uh, obviously I have it turned around on the wrong side because you can see like the particle board. But it's like a really nice finish, and there are so many different sections for shoes um, in this shoe organizer. But I'm actually thinking I wanna do something else with it. I'm like totally inspired to do it for some organization, some type of organization organizational purpose, but I can't figure out exactly what to do. So if you guys have any ideas of what I could do with this, I mean, so there's one, two, three, four, five. So there's 30 in total, 30 little spots in total because I have one more in the garage. Um, if you guys can think of something I can do with this, leave a comment below because I'm, I'm inspired, but stuck. I have inspiration block right now. So let me, let me know if you guys have any ideas of what I could do with this.
All right, so that's it for this week's haul. Thank you guys so much for checking out Garage Sale Haul number 17. Who knows, there might be another one next weekend. I'm not even going to try to say that there won't because there might be. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because Monday through Friday I post my outfits of the day, my thrifted teacher outfits of the day. I will link the thrifted teacher wardrobe haul below so you guys can see some of the stuff that I'll be working with in my outfits of the day. So make sure you're following me on Instagram at thrifted living. Please stay tuned guys. I'm so excited to show you some really Really cool and exciting things that I've been working on. I also have some really fun and exciting DIY videos that I'm going to be working on soon so please stay tuned for those as well. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!